We shouldn't be able to turn that switch. I know he looked good and he got all the muscles and oh goodness, he's just yummy. We should not be able to turn the switch off for him. God is calling his children back to holiness. We need to be properly identified. Listen, the enemy wants our identity. Who are you? The Bible says, with your mouth you speak of me, but your heart is far from me. Who are you? Are you really who you say you are? Are you going to come on my porch and steal my bows? Who are you? Does the thoughts of your heart match your actions when it comes to children of light? Or do you have two identities? God is calling his children to have one identity. We shouldn't look like the world. What separates us if we look like them? Can't be our words, because I know a drunk that can speak the word like nobody else. Everything we do should be influenced by love. When nothing else could help, guess what lifted me? Love. It lifted me. Listen, if you don't got love, you have absolutely nothing. As I said, that's what identifies us from man to man. You want to know how you know that I'm God's? It's from the love that I showed that brother. The Bible tells us, know those that labor among you, but how can I know you if it's two of you? How can I know you if you'll smile in my face and backbite behind my back? How can I know you if you'll smile in my face and sow discord behind my back? Who are you? in him. Let me tell you something. When I left the Goodwill, I went down to a friend of mine's at the pawn shop. God restored my poles. The poles that I got were so much better than the ones they had taken. And not only that, I, but I got them for less than what I had paid for all the other poles. restored my poles. Don't lose the will to do good in the presence of evil. Because that's what identifies you. Anybody can do evil in the presence of evil, but what identifies us is the will to continue to keep the will to do good in the presence of evil. That's what separates us. There's some young people in here that that's one of the things you've been fighting with your identity. God wants you to walk in who you really are. You belong to him. You might not act like it. You deal with depression. You deal with all kind of stuff because you're trying to quiet his voice. All my sheep know my voice. But I gotta quiet that voice. So because I can't quiet, I do everything else. I do all kinds of things to quiet that voice. And because of it, I deal with depression. I deal with deep sadness. Because 
I know I belong to God and I shouldn't be doing this. I want my identity. Man, it's nothing like walking in who you really are. Listen, when it comes to me and I ain't trying to do my own, what you see is what you get. I ain't going to fake no funk to nobody and I'm delivered from people. I'm talking about when it comes to what people think about me. I don't care what nobody think about me. Listen, your thoughts of me did not determine my destiny. So I don't care what I put. Man, I, man well, I'm telling you, I've been delivered from people for a long time. My family will tell you that. But I'm telling you, it's nothing like walking in who you really are. That's the whole thing about it. He came that we would have life and life that more. But the abundant life is walking in who you really are. Don't let the enemy keep you from your identity. If you know you're a child of the light, then you're not properly representing a child of the light. Don't let the enemy keep you from your identity. Sin is the number one cause of poor identity theft for children of the light. I love you guys. May God bless you and keep you. Young people, God loves you. He wants you to walk in the fullness of your identity. God bless you. of his message we need to know who we are we are dealing with an identity crisis amongst our young people they are in an identity crisis you don't need name brands to make you somebody when you know who you are you can wear we call them jeepers I wore a shoe with a well, a well on the side of it But I knew who I was. And I tore that shoe up in one day. Ran down a hill. Got my shoe caught up in the, the spokes of my, the bicycle. I was riding on the handlebars. And I tore that shoe up. I went home. My mom tore me up for tearing that shoe up in one day. That was the shoe with the whale on the side of it. Huh. But when you know who you are, you don't need nobody else's name to make you great. God told Abraham, he said, I'm going to make your name great. I'm going to make you famous. And Abraham, he believed God and he obeyed God. And he became the father of many nations. It's all about identity. So we thank God once again for Pastor Marvin and the word that came forth through him. Give God a praise. So we just want to pronounce, right now, those who are watching us, we're just going to say a prayer, just an altar prayer. If you need to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you're in this house and you don't know him, he gives you identity. Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'm going to build my church. When you identify him, he identifies you. So we just, if you're watching us, and you hear live in service, or you watch us live from Facebook, I just declare right now in the name of Jesus that you are forgiven. Just open your mouth and ask God, Lord, forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Make me new. Give me the new man. Give me the obedient man. The new man is the one that allows you to be obedient. 
So we pray wherever you are, whatever you're going through, depression, anxiety, oh, being, you're, if you're overwhelmed, you got a lot on your mind, you're suicidal, we speak the blood of Jesus over your life, over your mind. Your thoughts control your life. Whatever man thinketh in his heart, so is it. So we just ask that God would give you a, a renewed mind. We pray for blessings upon your life. You are forgiven. You are loved. You are made whole. You are restored. You are redeemed. You are loved. So God, we thank you and praise you for the message, for your love. For us doing good in the presence of evil. Visit everybody that's watching us at home, wherever they're watching us at, visit them right now. Just send the Holy Spirit to comfort them wherever they're at. Restore them back to the fold. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, go ahead and give God praise. Don't, don't wait till everybody else clap. Don't clap. Now, I'm going to ask a favor of all you that's watching us by Facebook Live. You still tuned in. Next Sunday is going to be an evangelistic Sunday for us. We're going to evangelize our neighborhood, so we're going to have service outside. We're going to be giving away hot dogs, hamburgers, juice, drink, different things like probably a bag of chips and stuff. But this, I need everybody to come bring your lawn chairs tomorrow. Invite people. We're going we're gonna to sit outside, and we're going to go around. Well, when, when are we, where's Elder Sharon? She gone. I think we're passing out flyers to the neighborhood, letting them know we're going to be outside next Sunday. We're gonna, if they want to sit on their porch, if they don't want to come to the, the yard, to the service outside, they can sit on their porch. And we just want to recognize and tell them how much we love being, in, being their neighbor. We've given them some hard times back in the day. But we love them. And so I need y'all to bring your lawn chairs. Bring the attitude of evangelism and love. And we're going to sit outside and just enjoy the Lord. Hopefully we get a, not, it's about 90 outside now. Hopefully we don't get that kind of hot day. But I believe the weather is going to be beautiful. It's going to permit us to have a good time. So don't stay at home because we're outside. You can sit in your cars. You can get your lawn chairs out. We're going we're gonna to have, have tents up. We're just going to. Tell the neighborhood we love them. Amen. I believe that if we get a hot dog to them, they'll come. They, they'll come and give them a hamburger with some cheese on it. Steve, we got cheese, don't we? Okay. Well, we make, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Shug, I want to see you next time. Yeah, you know I was going to mess with you, Shug. You should. And my nephew was making all kind of noises. Where are you at? Come here, bring him here. Bring him here, Monica. I want to lay hands on him. Come here, Dallas. You need to be free from whatever hinders you and harms you. Lift him up. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over his life. <laughs> Gee, he's making all kinds of noises. We're going to have to have a special room for him. I want y'all to do a favor for me. Those of you joining us by Facebook Live, don't tune out yet. We want to we do something nice for the cheerleading team. They came to see us, and I want to get, how they get, how'd they get here, Johnny? Some of their parents. How can we treat them to dinner today? Can we treat them to lunch or something? Can, can y'all take them to, uh, okay. Y'all want to take them to lunch? Y'all want to treat them? Okay. Everybody that want to be a blessing in taking these, bring me some money. Bring me, come on, Dre, I know you got some money. Bring it, bring it all. Bring it, come on, come on, bring your offering. Help me, help me feed, the, you, you cash up to church and put cheerleading. Okay, come and bring the cheerleading team up. I know some more of y'all that got money. Come on, bring your money up gonna make sure they eat whatever they want to eat. Hey, those of you just watching us by Facebook Live, just if you want to cash app, you, you 
you want to be a blessing to the cheerleading team of Dunbar, put Cash App the church and put in the, in the comment section or somewhere where you can say for, for the cheerleading team. It, it, if y'all don't, we're going to make sure they eat whether y'all give or not. We just want y'all to be a blessing if you want to be a blessing. for helping us do a good deed. All right, look at it. Yeah, just... Give it up for the Dunbar Chilling Squad. So they can just remain standing. You're going to help me close out. Everybody stand on your feet. Those of you that are still watching, I mean, you can send your offering just to be a blessing to these. If they chose to come and visit our church, we're going to send them away happy. We're going to bless them. We're going to do good to them. Amen. So thank you for those of you who made a contribution. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. Thank God for you. I was on my way to church. I got here and, real, and got a message that Denise, Daryl, Denise was Daryl, uh, Daryl Wilson's mom passed this morning, and so that's why Denise is not here. She's. We just gonna send our love. I already texted her and her husband, just telling them we love them and praying for them. So just keep them in prayer. For those of you who know how to reach out to Denise or Daryl Wilson, just go ahead and. Send a, send a message to him. Let him know you're praying for him. I think his mom passed this morning. So we're just going to keep them lit up in prayer. Amen. Y'all know, y'all know what to do. That's, I mean, y'all know what to do. Reach out to him. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your promise. Thank you for the comfort of the Holy Spirit. We just ask your blessings to be upon us and our identity, knowing who we are. We give you glory, honor, and praise for the message that we heard today. We need, it need to be clear, single eye, not double-minded, single eye. If our body, if your eye be single, your whole body gets full of light, revelation, knowledge, information, knowing who you are. But you got to have a single eye. I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hug on somebody. Tell them. Uh,